What's up guys, it's the Nail Polish Challenge. Um, today I want to do sort of a different video. Video? <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys, it's the Nail Polish Challenge. Mm. Happy Halloween. What's up guys, it's the Nail Polish Challenge and today I have a different sort of video than usual for you. I thought it would be fun to sort of give you a list of my top 10 Halloween nail polishes and sort of show you each one. I'm not sure if this is going to be a monthly thing, this is obviously like my October top 10 nail polishes. Um, if you guys think this is something that should be monthly, let me know. Um, I feel like it would be really cool because each month I sort of have my own favorites that I go gravitate towards just because, you know, um, each month I feel like has a different sort of feel to it. And obviously October has this really sort of Halloween-y feel to it. So that's why I love to do Halloween nail polishes. And one reason that I sort of uh, love to do this because I feel like nail artists who are always like, you know, buying the newest collections and people who are obsessed like me who have a ton of polishes, we're always so focused on like the newest print. So I feel like this sort of video is to give you guys an alternative. You don't always have to get the newest stuff. You might realize that something that you already have is perfect for Halloween. So I thought this would be a really fun way of sort of showcasing that, showing you guys what I wear most often in October and then maybe if it goes well, you guys will want to see it for November, December, whatever, you know, whatever is coming up. This isn't necessarily like a monthly favorites video. Um, I know that a lot of people come out with monthly favorites videos at the end of the month and it's sort of just like a, this is what I've been using this month and this is why I like it. Um, if you guys are interested in something like that, definitely let me know because um, I'd be happy to like do a monthly favorites video that sort of showcases newer stuff and maybe like, you know, products that I've tried that I'm loving um, and, you know, stuff like that. So I'd love to do that. This is a totally separate entity. Um, this is something that, I mean, if I were to do in the future, it would be in the beginning of the month, but I had a really busy <laughs> beginning of the month, so that's why you guys are getting this later than anticipated. All right, so let's get started with OPI Lost My Bikini in Malakini. This was actually a spring summer shade from OPI, but I always gravitate towards like purples and greens and oranges in October, obviously because of Halloween, but this isn't just a Halloween polish. Um, it's just a really nice purple cream. It's really beautiful and I feel like it's one of those polishes that you can wear even if you're like more conservative with polish because purple is a pretty regular nail polish color so that's why I always find myself grabbing it. And number two is a very Halloween-y shade. China Glaze Butt of Corpse was part of their Halloween collection last year and it's this really crazy gorgeous green textured polish with like these black um, like bits in it and it's really, I don't know, it's definitely pretty corpsey and Halloween-y and I love it. I feel like China Glaze really killed it, no pun intended, with their Halloween collection last year and I absolutely love this one. And number three, of course, is the pink version of what you just saw. This is China Glaze. I love your guts. Same formula, same type of polish. This is in like a pinkish red. Um, definitely looks like brains, which is nice. And, um, you know, this is another great color for if you're a little bit more conservative. You want to wear a pink or red color, but you also want to be super creepy. All right, number four is KB Shimmer Be Scareful. This is actually a little bit of a cheat because this one is new for this year, but I loved it so much that I had to add it to my list. This is a white polish, but it's filled with these orange and black glitters and a ton of different shapes. There's stars, there's triangles, there's circles, and it's really cool. You just apply it like normal polish, but it comes out looking really nice, and I feel like this is more of like a light and fun version of a Halloween polish, so that's why I really like it. <laughs> And of course it would be crazy to have a list of my favorite October polishes without adding a classic orange polish. This is Cuccio Very Sherbert. Um, this is probably the polish that I've worn the most so far this October um, just because it's great for doing pumpkins and different like fall nail art looks. It's really fun. This is a really great color. Obviously it's supposed to be a summer shade but whatever. Um, Cirque Vectors is another Halloween-y, October-y type polish I love because it's just these black glitters and it just makes every polish that you wear look like Halloween. Um, especially if you're going with like an orange or a green or a purple. Um, 
and also even though it's got like just these plain black glitters in it it's got a lot of holographic shimmer in it too which makes it like glam but also a little spooky Next we have Color Club Fierce. This was part of their Seven Deadly Sins collection. I don't even remember when it came out, but I always find myself gravitating towards this color in the fall just because it's got this crazy uh, shimmer in it that sort of shifts from pink to orange to gold and it's textured, which is really cool. Obviously I'm loving the textured polishes lately, um, so I really love this one. It's definitely, I always think to myself, like, if I was a monster, what kind of polish would I wear? It would probably be this one, or another one which I have on my list, which I will explain in a minute. Okay, next we have Zoya Savita, and I feel like most people are going to be like, why is this something that you wear in October? Because this seems like more of a winter polish. But, I love wearing purple in October because it reminds me of Halloween. This one is a matte velvet, so it's got this really interesting finish, sort of like a velvety look, of course, and I feel like it's just so goth. <laughs> like I feel like I would wear this with like a crazy witchy goth kind of costume and I absolutely love it. I love the shimmer in it. Honestly I do wear this one from fall all the way to the winter but this is definitely an October polish to me. Alright and China Glaze Free Bear Hugs is the other monster polish I said I would wear. Um, it's this just a really vampy dark dark mahogany red. This is another polish that was new for this fall but I couldn't help adding it to my list because I feel like I'm always searching for like a really vampy red color and I finally found it and I'm so excited. You know, you can definitely wear this around Halloween or do it with nail art because it totally looks like blood when sometimes, you know, a really bright red nail polish just seems sort of cheesy around Halloween. Like this is more of like a realistic, bloody, creepy thing and this is something I'm definitely going to be wearing in November too because November just screams like oranges and reds and vampy colors to me. And last but definitely not least is China Glaze Coolish Glow. This is actually a top coat and as the name might describe, it glows in the dark. So this is after charging it under my lamp for a couple of seconds. Um, it's super awesome. You can put it over any color. Here I am just putting it over a really bright green because I feel like that colors like that really make it pop. Um, or over white obviously makes it look amazing. And here it is glowing actually in slow motion because I didn't film it for long enough um, but I absolutely love this one. So that's it for my top 10 October nail polishes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's totally um, different from the kind of thing that I usually do but if you want to see this kind of video every month let me know because I think that would be awesome. Um, like I said if you're interested in a monthly favorites video where I'm focusing more on newer products. I'd be happy to do that too. Um, just let me know. Let me know in the comments. I want to know. Um, and yeah, that's it. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, let me know what you guys are going to be for Halloween because I still don't know what I'm going to do for Halloween and I feel like I'm sort of freaking out because I usually have my idea already picked out by now. I know not everybody celebrates Halloween so I'm definitely going to be doing tutorials that aren't necessarily Halloween related during this time too, just so I can include everybody, but um, yeah, a lot of exciting things are coming up, so stay tuned, and <laughs> bye. I'm not gonna... Oof. 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 I thought it was a bug, but it wasn't a bug, it was a piece of dust. <laughs>